people's uh, agenda is important uh, to the country and uh, to all of us, really. Uh, whether you are young or you are old, I think the, the subject of youth in general is extremely important. You are the future. The youth are the future. And uh, the net zero is the current discussion, debate. I have a view which is not shared by all because with the net zero, especially in our area of energy, comes another term which is transition or energy transition. So you have a net zero target and hand in hand it goes with uh, the transition and what does that mean? Uh, my view is we should link the two in order to progress the target of 2050 in an intelligent, re, um, acceptable manner. We don't want to be extremist in one form or another. And that I mean, I don't want people really to say, let's stop uh, the consumption or the usage of fossil fuel like others are calling for stop now yeah we cannot do that and on the other hand we cannot say business as usual that's another extreme and i think the decision on how to progress from where we are today to a net zero target of 2050 must have a huge input from those who are going to live in 2050 which are the youth of today and i think engaging the youth and getting the youth to be part of the solution is extremely important. And we cannot really sit here and say, we are going to do this and we're going to achieve that without carrying the youth with us to achieve those goals. Whether we want to grow trees, whether we want to shift from, uh, from conventional cars to electric cars, whether we want to introduce more efficient homes so we consume less energy. In my personal, as, a, as an individual, as an Omani, yeah, not as, a, as an official or a spokesperson for the government, this is my personal view. I think we need to change a little bit. Oman, um, unfortunately, we are becoming more and more consumer society and less as a producing society, yes. I think if I have one advice to our young, to my sons, to my, uh, to my grandsons, and everybody in between. Can we try to move away from consumer thinking? It's not easy, hmm? but I think we, we need to, to move away from this consumer mentality. Uh, we need to, uh, to make these producing projects more glamorous uh, so our young people uh, will be associated with uh, and my message to to all the young can we start thinking on how can we produce more you know? uh, in one form or another we have agriculture we have fisheries uh, we have manufacturing we have a lot of things that we can do with our with our hands uh, with our brains and we don't have to produce as as uh, in a production line i think all of us huh? all of us we should be positive to the youth and the youth should be positive uh, to the government and to the by the way we don't have any other alternative we have only one oman for the youth of oman we have only oman and we have to build it together uh, and believe me everybody wants a better tomorrow in my humble advice uh, to my younger or my sons and daughters and so on is be positive, uh, come with positive criticism, solutions oriented rather than blame and uh, criticizing because that, that is a waste of uh, useful energy uh, from all of us. My only recommendation would be uh, stay up to date with the uh, latest development in the industry. Keep reading magazines, books, uh, get involved in projects. 
uh, not necessarily directly to your job only, but yeah. trying to expand your horizon so that you, you learn uh, beyond the, the, the technical part that you're in charge of. That part you will learn anyway. If you are to excel your career, even though it feels like you are getting a little bit too far from where your career is, uh, that, that you start broadening your horizon, broadening your understanding. Uh, in today's world, what matters most is, is your breadth of knowledge as opposed to the depth of knowledge. And I think it's important that we start getting into that habit of really understanding more. Deliver to the best of your ability. Uh, and, and always keep something in mind. And this is an area that I, every time I talk to someone, I keep reminding them. Leave a legacy that you are proud of. The papers you write, the minutes of meeting that are written where your name is mentioned, they are uh, historical records. You never know when that document will be opened and who will read it. Don't underestimate any task. Okay? Don't always get to work on things that you love. Sometimes you will be asked to do things that are probably of little interest to you. You think it is outside your area of experience and what have you. And sometimes you think you, you, you can do much better than with that little task. Uh, my advice is daily spend just as much energy completing that particular task and giving it your best shot uh, as you do with any task that you think is uh, exciting and it excels your career. Uh, you never know what shapes up your career at the end. As we grow in our career, most likely, most likely, we will end up doing a job that has not been created yet. And if you are not ready to take that challenge, be inflexible. Again, it goes back to the first question, which is broadening your skills and your understanding, uh, accepting to learn more about other sectors. So this is very close, of course, or we've been going beyond the energy sector. Uh, I think the, the advice I would give is uh, be flexible, adaptable, uh, understand the world where it's going, accept to learn new skills. Many of us seem to sort of anchor on a single skill. I'm a petroleum engineer and I want to stay a petroleum engineer. Embrace the uh, renewable energy trend, make sure that you get involved in projects. Uh, put your hands up every time there is an opportunity. Load yourself if you have to, in your spare time, either reading or contributing to projects and so on. And uh, 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 I think uh, with that, you will probably find yourself ready if there is an opportunity, opportunity in the future to take it on and accept it.